Hi guys, Joe Chipperfield here, Joe Chips Guitar Tips, and today I'd really like to look at um, the playing of Stevie Ray Vaughan and how to get close to playing the way that he played. Um, so, for a start, I'm tuned to E flat. So it's standard tuning, but just down a semitone or half a step. So that tuning is E flat or D sharp, your tuner might tell you. A flat or G sharp, you've got C sharp or D flat, F sharp or G flat, B flat, and then a top E string. Oh yeah, B flat is also A sharp, it might tell you, yeah, A sharp, and then, yeah, E flat or D sharp on the top string. Those are called enharmonic equivalents. Sounds like a big word, but it basically means that it's a, they gave it the word because it's a way of explaining that those two notes have are the same, but they can have different note names because of the way different keys work and key signatures. But anyway, <laughs> Steve Ray Vaughan. So, um, certainly for the amp, you might want to add a bit of extra mid and um, I suppose, uh, yeah, also a tube screamer or a clean boost is really good for getting that throaty sound out of a Strat as well. Um, any Strat, your neck pickup and neck and middle position will get you very much super close to a lot of his playing. Although Stevie Ray does tend to throw, be in the middle of a bit of lead, play a, a little bit with the treble pickup and then on his way back, <coughs> slide down on one string and then he's back to the, <laughs> throwing back on the neck pickup. But um, but yeah, the main thing I think with his playing that get you super close. Even with if I was to look at that intro there, you know, you can find that on a tab, I'm sure. But with the groove, it's I find if we were to look at a bit of let's say a riff in G that he were to do. So we're go for the third fret and fifth frets for something like this. And I'm, I'm yeah, I'm going to change maybe for this one to the. Uh, not the neck pickup, but the one in there. Um, and looking at the strumming pattern for a riff on. A blues chord progression, you've got this upstroke, and I think that is key. It's how you begin every riff. And so there's an upstroke around about the middle pickup, and then you end up coming down either on the neck pickup or near the neck. But that, and where this rhythm came from for Stevie Ray Vaughan, it's almost like he's picked up the rhythm from some of the things that early on that he learned, even in some of the bonus interviews with him in um, on uh, that you can get on the uh, extended editions of his albums. He says. A lot of the stuff I was learning early, early on were really simple things like this. And he describes that almost like a horse walking. And so that kind of clip clop, clip clop, clip clop is almost, he's taken that and gone one step into it with, instead of. A little bit of a, a blag there for you for some playing as well as the rhythm um, or lead playing as well as the rhythm but more so he's using that for his rhythm. So one other riff that's also worth talking about is Cold Shot and on the um, on the recording for that you can hear this amazing amplifier that was a, a Fender apparently they used a Leslie speaker in it as well that was originally used for organs and it was this physically spinning speaker um, and um, to replicate that without having something like that, an amazing amplifier, like a keyboard amplifier like he had there, um, if you have access to a tremolo, um, I find that if you wind the speed right the way round, but then put your depth on about 9 o'clock, so it's only just on, 
and then with the combination of a probably the not the neck pickup but the one in again you can make a really half decent way there to that riff and it's a great one to play again it does use the same rhythm and it's um, really good fun to play sliding all over the neck with as well I'll do a little bit of that one to show you um, oh and also you can hear this tremolo see what you make of it working out uh, sound wise it's not bad I think I'm kind of close <coughs> licks in there as well um, you hear the difference in the pickup if you do those licks with different pickups as well but yeah so but I hope that's been fun guys there's um loads of great riffs he plays in it's it can take a little while to get the hang of that but definitely why not try some of the slower riffs like um, uh, like the one we were just doing there, cold shot, um, because you can take your time to dig into it, and these things still sound pretty cool slow as well, while you're getting to know them. Oh, I hope it's been fun, guys. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, and um, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes Stevie Ray Vaughan, when he ends a song, like how B.B. King might end a song with a note, say he was in A, he'd go and play the highest note possible, Stevie Ray might play an open string and be like <coughs> and just pull at the string. It sounds great, especially in E and uh, after the end of Pride and Joy. <coughs> Maybe a ninth chord like this, which is like a D shape and then you throw it right up as high as the A string and then you've got the B string for it there, so this is in the key of E just now, but then and then just sounds just like him, wicked. And all you have to do is just snap the string, <laughs> snap it in half. No, not snap it in half, just yeah, yeah, delta snap or it's for sando or good old fashioned ending, wicked guys. See you soon.